This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, July 16, 2012, in Canada. Radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered rain across the southern provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan. The majority of rainfall, however, is between Winnipeg and Ottawa and also in St. John's. The jet stream and tropopause are following a mostly northern trajectory, making Halifax the area of highest concern. This will change by Wednesday for British Columbia and the Vancouver area. In the U.S. Current radar from IntelliCast shows cloud cover and rainfall in at least 25 states. Due to the northern trajectory of the jet stream and tropopause, the only concern for possible fallout would be in northern New England at this time. Alaska, however, is at risk, as well as the Pacific Northwest later this week. The southern states of coastal Texas through Florida should avoid rainfall due to core exit rainout, which continues to be sprayed in the Gulf of Mexico. In Europe, Radar imagery from Meteo France shows extensive rainfalls occurring from Germany through Poland for today. The next 48 to 72 hours is forecasted for the following countries with other precipitating factors. The Czech Republic, Slovakia, Belarus, Lithuania, the Ukraine, Moldova, and Romania. By Wednesday, the risk may move north to Scandinavia and also include the UK. Over the weekend, an intense solar event from last week's X-flare hit Earth. Luckily, it did not appear to be as geo-effective as forecasted. However, there are numerous events listed for U.S. nuke plants on the NRC event notification page. The most important events are as follows from today. At Oyster Creek, New Jersey, an intermittent signal is causing problems with emergency sirens. The FCC is involved and investigating. At LaSalle, Illinois, the on-site technical support center is out of service due to a fan failure resulting in loss of the ventilation system. At Fitzpatrick in New York, the emergency sirens are malfunctioning. At Nine Mile Point, also in New York, the emergency sirens are also malfunctioning. And at Fermi 2 in Michigan, there was an unexpected plant computer system failure. If you live by one of these plants, please contact your local news affiliate to report on some of these stories. Of additional interest, Russia Today is reporting that only 20% of people polled trust the mainstream media. Citizen journalists are making new media and real news possible. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government and the mainstream media doesn't. Stay safe.